good eye, adventure. Today, I'll be taking Today, I'll take you to the top scenic attractions in Sydney in one day within a budget of $50. I've done quite a few budget itineraries in very expensive cities before. So, if you're looking for an affordable way to explore the beautiful side of Sydney, this video is for you. Let's begin. First, let's talk about accommodations. That's rent for today. That's all we're left with. <laughs> On average, it's very expensive to spend a night in Sydney. But there are ways around this. In my case, I'm crushing my sister's place tonight. But I've also found hostels and capsule hotels where you can spend the night for around $30. Let's start our $20 day proper. My favourite part about trains in Sydney. Welcome to Kuji, the gateway to some of the most beautiful coastal walk in East Coast Australia. The weather today isn't so great, but that's not gonna stop us from having this scenic walk along the beach. So let's go. This is one of my sister's favorite spots in the walk. It's the <laughs> Waverly Cemetery. <laughs> you like a cemetery? It's peaceful. Yes, actually it's very peaceful. Good recommendation. It's also really nice admiring the gravestones here. You haven't been to Sydney if you haven't visited Bondi Beach. Fortunately, this scenic route brings you through the best viewpoints of Bondi. Unfortunately, the rain caught up with us, so it's pretty wet and gloomy now. Maybe it's a good thing that it's raining because rainbow! <laughs> Go! Woo, complete the rainbow! Next, we're gonna take the most value per dollar that you can get from a ferry ride. But before that, let's talk about food. In Sydney, it's almost impossible to have a meal for under $15. But there's a place where you can defy the impossible. Look out for the supermarket chain called Woolsworth. Locally, it's also known as Woolies. Go to the daily section and look out for this bachelor's handbag. Normally, this costs you about $12. But today is my lucky day because there's one on sale for $8.75. For this price, it's super value for what you're getting. And this will probably last me for the whole day. Okay, actually it's not really luck. Usually they'll go on sale if they've been sitting there for a while. So you'll definitely find some in the late afternoon or in the evening near closing. You can also find these roast chickens in other supermarket chains such as Coles and Harris Farms. From Bondi Beach, take a bus to Watson's Bay. We're in Watson's Bay. It's a very charming place. You can see the bustling city of Sydney in the distance. You want to be in the camera? Okay, say hi to Wokey. Now, look out for the signboard that says F. This stands for the ferry boats. In Sydney, the public transport stations always have these initials in them. So you will find B in the bus, T for the train, and F for the ferries. They also recently opened an M for metro. The schedule for the ferry is fixed. Check it out in this table. It comes almost every hour in the morning and the evenings. But don't worry if you got here too early, there's a very nice hiking spot called The Gap nearby. You can hike and enjoy the ocean view while you wait. It costs $9 to get onto the ferry. Beware, do not tap your card at the gantry in front of the ferry station because payment will be done on board. Someone will approach you and ask you for your card for payment. <sighs> I actually made the mistake of tapping at the entrance, so I ended up paying twice for this ferry ride. So is it worth it? You decide. Considering you get to see such a gorgeous view of Sydney, this is very worth the ferry ride. 
now we'll take the chance to admire the Opera House up close. After exiting the ferry, walk with the water on your left. This will bring you to the Opera House. Now, to fully admire the city view, turn around and walk with the water on your right. The Circular Quay is one of the prettiest spots in the city, full of beautiful historical and modern buildings that coexist in harmony. And keep going because the city view will just keep on evolving as you walk along the quay, keeping it fresh. The Opera House there. And the city's gonna... Don't miss out this car that got bricked by a boulder. I checked the wreckage and I'm positive there were no survivors. I tried to search what this is, but the best answer that I could find was that this is an art piece that symbolizes the crushing despair of driving in Sydney. <laughs> Personally, I recommend walking all the way to Barangaroo, enjoying all the sights along the way before we get to our next destination. By the way, while editing, I realized that I forgot to include the cost of bus and trains from point A to point B. So I want to apologize that this itinerary will not be truly under $50, but it should still be under $60. Most of Australia goes to sleep after 5 p.m., but not in Burwood, Chinatown. Spend the rest of your budget and have a good taste of the Asian snacks over here. There are lots of food to pick and choose from here. Honestly, it's very modern for a Chinatown market style. I've also just learned the best time to go shopping in Sydney is on Thursday nights because it's the only day that they open for later to the nights. Now, if you're looking for the best travel experience, watch my daddy's other travel guide over here. I'll see you there.